Overall, I think every single one of us probably has an area of self-control that we want to be working on. Today, we want to give you four points that you could use to overcome some areas in your life that need more self-control. Every single one of us has something to work on. Mm -hmm. And point number one, we just showed it to you on the screen. Part number one, start by asking God to show you areas of your life that are out of control. Mm. That's a very good one. Is it a temper? Perhaps it's eating too much of that chocolate. Maybe you spend a lot of time on your phone or on the computer, or on your phone, staying up mm. too late, not reading the Bible regularly, watching inappropriate movies, listening to questionable music that doesn't help your spirit. In any of these areas, God says, I have a better way for you. But the first step is recognizing you have an area in your life that needs some work. You know, I found myself late at night. My husband works second shift, so my kids go to bed, and I'm by myself a lot of times in the evening. And you know what I want to be doing? I want to be reading my Bible. I want to be investing in some other important things like that. And what do I find myself doing? That's a thumb scrolling through something like Facebook. You know, yeah. worthless, worthless. So that's my challenge. I'm challenging myself. I'm giving myself phone hours. I'm giving myself social media hours. Mm. I've got to shut it off. I've got to put it away. It's not easy. No. You get into these habits. Right. It's not easy. Right. They can be very ingrained. And so take some time and formulate what that is. Then formulate a plan to help you work on the specific thing in your life like Jennifer has done. Be ready to fight temptation. Go back to it, especially in the beginning. You are changing habits, walking away from things that are not good for you. And in the end, telling the devil he's losing control and you are letting God take control. Mm. Don't be too hard on yourself if you slip right at the start or even in the middle. Be determined to get back up. You're not a failure for falling down. You're a failure. Well, you're not a failure. God says you're not a yeah. failure. But failure is when we fail to get back up. That's what uh, the devil wants us to do, to stay down, to beat ourselves up. But God says, nope, I have a new way for you. He reaches mm -hmm. down. He picks you up. And pray regularly for strength through these situations. It doesn't matter how many times you fall, to right. be honest. Right. Stop beating yourself up Keep and back say, up. I am going to step forward. Thirdly, consider telling someone that you're working on this area in your life. You know, that gives you a prayer partner, someone you can call, text, contact if you find yourself struggling to fall back into the worldly patterns. It should be someone you can trust, someone who's a Christian, someone who will keep you accountable, but will also be merciful and supportive if you do find yourself in a moment of weakness and you fall back into that temptation. So important to have someone in your life and to speak the times when you're, you're feeling tempted or to speak or maybe not Facebook, Jennifer, because you've got your hours for doing that. That's right. I'm not using Facebook as my <laughs> accountability. People will say, what are you doing <laughs> posting at 10.05 when you're supposed to be done at 10? There you go. But it does uh, take the weight out of the situation when you're fighting those temptations. If you speak it out loud or you tell somebody, it's very important. Finally, commit to the long term. Depending on the area of self-control you're working on, this could involve weeks, months, even years of hard work. Commit to daily Bible reading and prayer, knowing that God is the path to victory and allows yourself to celebrate small victories one day without backsliding one week two weeks mark those anniversaries as you move forward working towards having more self-control in these important areas of your life and as you do that as you get, gain some traction your brain's literally rewired in these areas and you do feel the freedom that comes you know, this was not a self-control issue, but I got put onto a different diet about eight weeks ago. And I tell you what, at the beginning, it was really hard. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize how much my mind and my body was used to a certain system. Now, eight weeks later, it's so much different. I feel better. So many areas have improved. It's that same way in this issue of your life that you want to get more control on. You've got to push through those difficult beginning points so you can get to the point where you can look back and go, ah. I have made a way, and it is a better thing. Yeah. So let us know what you're doing in those areas. We can help as well. The main scripture passage for this year's Faith Challenge, of course, is 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 5-7. through 7. Read through those passages, and you'll find self-control is one of the listed attributes. And you can join our 2016 Faith Challenge, returning the reply card found in this month's newsletter, or by emailing us at faithandfriends.wtlw.com.